Well, you can't build anything with the Sims 4 base game. No, you're just bad at building. And I'm gonna prove that to you today. Head over to the gallery, click on hashtag and type in FGG Normie. You get a whole bunch of base game builds that you can download in your game right now. And we're gonna have a look at a bunch of these. The first build we're gonna be looking at is the 100 Baby Hospital by Red Bamboo. We care about babies around the world. We know that giving birth to a baby is a full-time dedication and commitment. So is nurturing one. Introducing a hundred baby hospital. Offering you the best things in the world to take care of your baby until they grow up into a young adult. We have a nurse station, daycare, skill room, and baby gr- I mean baby caring facility. Come on in. Don't bother checking the basement. There's absolutely nothing in there. What What were you saying? That thing that you said not to worry about? I can't even place this lot down. I just feel like I, you were about to say something and then got cut off and like we didn't know what you were gonna- but we kind of know what you were gonna say but you said don't check the base. I'm, I'm just a little bit suspicious. Welcome to the 100 Baby Hospital. Please ignore the fact that my old sim self refuses to move. The game is glitching out and time won't move forward. I just want to say real quick, this is a very impressive looking build. Like this already looks pretty magnificent. And you have to remember, this is all base game. There are absolutely no packs used in this at all. So this is what you see is what you get. I would like to say I am very suspicious, but I like to think that I think positively. And you know what? This is just a normal baby hospital. This is perfect for your sim who decides that they're going to have a hundred babies. They just have nothing else to do except destroying their rooms because that's how bored they are. But anyway, this is a very nice reception area. Very clean and very sterile. Usually reception areas in hospitals are gross and they feel really dark and depressing. So I really like the vibes here. It feels very, very nice. I'm just gonna, I, I, I don't know where I'm going, honestly. I'm gonna be completely We got a bathroom. Okay, this is kind of a liminal space. I'm not gonna lie, but also I'm not gonna judge too harshly because this is all base game. This is all stuff that doesn't require packs. I assume that this door over here is also a bathroom. Oh, this one comes with a shower. Okay, I, honestly, I don't work in a hospital. I don't know if that's normal or not. Honestly, I don't care. So I'm gonna make my way over here. So this is another reception area. This, you know what? I like this. There are several waiting areas. This feels very hospital-like. Again, don't know if it's accurate, but also, again, I don't really care. We're gonna zoom on in in here. Okay, there's just, there's so many ways to go. I don't really know where I wanna go. I'll go over here first. So this is like the little records room, I guess. I think this door leads back into the hallway. No, okay, this is where they store some babies. I mean, I guess it's one of those things where you could see the babies from the window, so that's kind of a cute detail. And over here, we've got like a giant playroom for the babies. This place is huge. Wait a minute. I don't even know where to, I don't want to go upstairs yet. I want to see the rest of the place first, so I'm just kind of zooming past everything. Back in this room, there is a door here, and this leads to another bathroom, so I guess this is just where they're washing babies. And then we're here in the giant bedroom what is it are you is this where the huh, i have a, hmm is this where the babies are made in the hospital this is a one-stop shop for the challenge gamers you could probably do the entire challenge in here it's just like a random closet with an unpainted wall okay that's kind of scary this room is actually kind of freaking me out i don't want to be that guy but it's just it's i'm very uncomfortable right now but there's a very nice view so i don't know i'm just i'm gonna keep going now okay so we've got this massive kitchen very nice this does feel like a one-stop shop for the 100 baby challenge i think that that's what this build is. And the crazy thing is you can literally download this build like right now and anybody can download it because it's base game. Uh, this door looks a little bit suspicious. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna, yeah, I was just, I'll just honestly, I have something to do. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. What the fuck? Okay, so this is definitely something. So this is another area. So this is like a living room desk kind of space. I don't know. This doesn't feel very real to me. I don't know why. Like, isn't it kind of freaky? It's giving me back room vibes. I'm really not gonna let, I don't know why like open spaces like this like really freak me out we've got here we've got like a giant office space okay this is more than a hospital i think we figured that out from whatever the fuck that was in the door downstairs but it's just adding to further evidence we go upstairs again and there's just like a bunch of hallway what is the oh, okay i don't like this this just feels like a giant factory what's over here so we've got another bathroom i mean if you've got a piss this is the place to do it over here okay so this is really rich and fancy i don't where am I? What is this place? I thought it was just the hospital, but it, and then I thought, oh, this is just like a hundred baby challenge thing. But now I feel like it's like a giant mansion with like some demons downstairs. I don't, I don't really know. There's more upstairs. Okay. Um, so it gets richer as you go up and I don't really know what that means or what to think. And also if I'm going really fast, it's not my fault. When you're like above the second story, the game makes you go like super fast. What the fuck is this? Why is there like an award ceremony? thing with i don't 
I don't like this. I'm gonna go back downstairs now. I think I've seen enough, but obviously I haven't seen enough because I need to see whatever. What is this part? I don't even remember going in here. I was about to say, oh, we're just gonna go see like what is in the demon room, but the, obviously there's more uncomfortable stuff to be looking at. I don't like this. I don't understand the purpose of this build anymore, and nor do I want to. What's in this fancy room? Oh, it's a bathroom. Okay, and this leads to more. Oh, wow, more bedroom. You, if you wanna make babies, I guess this is the place to do it. <laughs> This is just a maze. Now, get me out. I'm done. I'm done. Get me out of here. I'm actually freaking out right now. Okay. No, okay. This is familiar territory. We know that the creepy demon door is over here. <sighs> okay. Yeah. All right. So you're sacrificing the babies or summoning the babies. Or maybe this is just a ritual of where you give birth. Honestly, I don't work in a hospital. I don't know what's normal or not anymore. Oh. Oh, hell no. Oh, look. There's even more of a basement. Yeah, sure. Why don't I just go down the basement? Oh, wow. This is so comforting. Oh, wow. Is this a dungeon? I don't want to be in here. I'm going to be completely honest. What the f- where, where, Oh my god. There's even more of a mi- Stop. Stop. What is the point of this? Okay. Oh, now I have to pick the right door again. Uh, right door or left door? I'm a lefty, so I always go left. Um, oh, so that was the wrong answer. Okay. All right. Here we are. Well, I wonder what's behind this room. I bet it's nothing just disturbing and oh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of guessed it would be something a little demonic like this. Oh, don't tell me there's more. I don't want to know that there's more. Could you excuse me a second? I've, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't mean to like disrupt anything. More doors? Stop. This isn't Lord of the Rings. I'm going through this door. Yep. Oh, my God. More downstairs. Can you? What, why does it look like that now? I don't know. I don't. Oh, oh no. Oh no. This. Oh my god. Okay. So we have some meat chunks in this giant factory downstairs. Okay. There are more doors. There is more to see. This place does not end. Can I just say this was also made with no packs? Like, this is all base. Like, what even is this? How did you do this? Is like. Okay. This is actually impressive. At first, I was getting really angry and stressed out but now I'm actually impressed. This is actually really cool. You made like a giant conveyor belt and machinery. And there it is. There. Yeah, that's how you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yummy organic meat. Uh, what is the? Oh my god. What? The What's the point? Why is there a desk here? Wait. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's not funny, but it's kind of funny. And then in here, I guess this is storage. Baby storage. This is um baby meat storage. Cool. I wonder what's through this door. Oh, wow. So not only are you um doing uh, that, what you were doing, now you're growing plants. Okay, yeah, not suspicious at all. Why is there another door? Why does there have to be another door? Oh, why is there another level downstairs? How big is this build? I guess I don't have a choice. I guess I have to go downstairs now. I guess this is just my job now. I guess this is what you guys fucking pay me to do. Oh, no. No more liminal spaces. This is actually stressing me out. I... I'm gonna go over here. I don't like this. This is actually creepy. This is creepy. Stop. Why are there so many doors? How big is this place? Oh my god. Stop. Why are there more bedrooms? Who is living down here? And who is living under the noise above them of babies being grinded into meat? Why is there a public restroom in here? Why? Who is living in here? Who is who is investing in this? I'm doing some investigating and I want to stop. Okay. More bedrooms. Very cool. These are kind of a vibe, but like, why is it in here? Let me guess, another bedroom. Yeah, I'm not even surprised. Yeah, it's so nice. Why? Why? What is I do, do you even know? Do you even know? The person who made this, let me just say, what was your name? Red Bamboo. Do you even know? Do you even know what you were doing? Or are you just trying to do this to like mess with more bedrooms? This one is very base game. This is something EA would build. I'm sorry. If that's an insult, I'm sorry. But like, wait, wait, come on. What is this? All right, cool. The last two bedrooms. Oh, it's not even a bedroom. Another awards place? What? Wait, 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 why are, okay, can we just take a second? I know we've been taking a lot of seconds. This has been taking a lot, a lot out of me, but can we just, um, take a second to think about why these chairs would be facing this way, and there are, ba like, this, oh, they're all looking, they're all looking this way, minus those chairs, I don't know what they're doing, but all the chairs are facing the, like, and I do not, I'm so, I, I can't even put a word together, I do not think somebody is sleeping in here. I don't care how creative you are 
are or how good this was. This upset me. The next base game build we're gonna be looking at is Base Game Vineyard by Kira Reed again. This lovely base game vineyard is tucked away in the hills. It's such a beautiful place. I love the patio plus pool area during the summer sunset. My family has been coming here for years. I recently had my wedding here and Armand, the owner, kept asking if I wanted to see the view from his artist loft. He said that you can see the whole vineyard from there. Once there, he asked me to take off my coat and hang it on the coat rack. That's really nice of him because it must get really warm in there. And I'm just excited to see a really impressive, wholesome build for once in my life. I mean, the weather is really bad, but don't let that distract you from how gorgeous this build is. Like, this is an actual huge vineyard. Like, this is gorgeous. I'm so mad at the weather in this game. Why does it have to do this? So, I don't really know where I should enter. Like, should I go from the parking lot? Okay, we're gonna go from the... No, no. I'm gonna go from the vineyard. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so excited. So, uh, I'm obviously, like, not allowed in here. But, like, honestly, who cares? So, this is the gorgeous vineyard again. I imagine this, but, like, sunny and in, like, a better place. This is, like, a British vineyard, can we say? This is beautiful. This is so well done. Again, this is all base game which is kind of surprising how well this looks we've got the telescope that came with the base game we've got all the oh well, how do we what do i go around from here where am i where am i going exactly okay so this is where you can actually grow things so if you wanted to make this build playable i assume that that's where you do it and you go all the way around is there like a stairway up here yes okay so i did come the wrong way let's just pretend i didn't so we've got this lovely patio area this is gorgeous i love the canopy above the pool as well because it's like the worst thing when you're swimming in the summer and the sun is just beaming down on your face this is a nice place to get a little bit of shade before you go back and burn your scalp we got a hot tub for when it gets a little too cold and you got like all these lovely sunbathing things which obviously i'm gonna put to good use in this weather oh yep i am getting radiation all right we're gonna go down here now and we're gonna make our way into the actual vineyard this is gorgeous i know that the base game is really good for mission style and mediterranean style decor not like super mediterranean but like enough and this is like the perfect build to do with this honestly so we're gonna go inside now so i can stop gushing this is so cute oh my god so this is like a little wine tasting area like a little bar i don't know if this is like an establishment or somebody lives here and you can come here and drink wine i don't know what vineyards are like i don't drink we have this lovely kitchen this is so cute and everything's so cohesive and i kind of love the windows into the other room we got just a lovely cohesive kitchen we've got like a good amount of clutter not too much but Obviously, the base game didn't come with a lot. And this is really cute. I love, like, your use of debug items to put on shelves. Honestly, if you're going to do a base game build, debug items are, like, your cheat way. Okay, so this is, like, a public place because there's, like, a public bathroom type of thing. This is a really cute bathroom, actually. I was just going to walk out of here, but, like, honestly, this is really nice. I, I think anything is nice compared to what I just saw because that is still traumatizing me. We've got a basement. Okay, you know what? We'll go down there last. I want to go upstairs, and I want to enjoy myself before I have to go back to the harsh reality of what you guys like to build for me. We've got a lovely piano room. I'm not vibing with the colors. I know that this is base game, so I'm not going to judge too harshly. It's just, it's not for me. And then we've got this like painting area and that's the loft where you got to take off your coat, which is fine because heat rises. So it must be really hot up there. I'll go there in a second. I just know that there's a door in here. So we have this lovely bedroom. This is actually really cute. I love the colors like this pastel purple and then like this type of wood actually goes really well together this is really really good oh that's a lot of money go in here and we've got this bathroom it's a bit messy so this is probably where the guy lives you know everybody's like you've got one room in your house it's not exactly tidy and it's not meant for guests to be up here so it's fine over here i assume this is a balcony yes this is beautiful i would love to sit up here and like eat food that is like way too expensive and the portion sizes are way too small that is the dream okay we're gonna go up in the loft now and i'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine Fine. there can't be anything like messed up in here no it's literally wholesome this is literally okay maybe like i understand why he wanted you to take off your coat and maybe a little bit more but other than that this is just a lovely place to paint this is so pretty <laughs> i'm gonna cry and i'm probably gonna cry even more because i'm gonna have to go down to the basement now oh i don't i just i have trust issues and you guys you guys know why but hopefully this is just where he stores the wine and you know what 
it is. This is the fancy wine tasting area. And you know what? It's just wine. There's nothing bad about this place. And I know that sounds entirely sarcastic, but I'm actually genuinely excited because this is a genuinely well done build. And there's nothing messed up in here. You, this is possible, guys. It's really possible. I think the only thing that's fucked up about this build is the awful British weather that it seems to want to simulate. But this is an amazing build. It is gorgeous and base game. So you can download it like literally right now, but not right now because like finish the video. Come on, what are you doing? The next base game build we're going to be looking at is the Silver Song Theater by Wafums27. Commissioned in 1866 by Galahad Goth, the Silver Song Theater is Willow Creek's most famous venue for live music, hosting everything from opera to musicals to rock concerts. Its newest and upcoming star is the virtuoso violinist Christy Pancakes. She seems to spend much of her time gazing in the mirror of her dressing room, but the theater managers dismiss this as mere vanity, and the recent disappearances of a few few stagehands are no cause for concern. You can tell this is the 1800s when they like really didn't care about people. Like it's not to say that they care about people now, but like back then they like cared even less. I just know damn well that this build is probably gonna traumatize me again. Here we are at the lovely Silver Song Theater. Okay, this place looks really, really nice. Like I really struggle with exteriors and interiors. I just struggle playing The Sims in general sometimes, but this looks so nice, especially for base game. Like I'm still like, that's the thing. Like these builds already look really nice, but then you remember that they don't use any packs. And it's just, it's just so cool. Like I love the little details at the very top, like on the ceiling. Like I love the details that they put on the roof already. Like ugh, just the attention to detail is so good. But anyway, I'm gonna stop stop being nice and we're gonna put on our mean caps right now because I'm gonna go boo the singer lady. Oh my god, this is so pretty. This does feel like very old timey, very classic and I really love that. So here is where I imagine you'd get your tickets. I thought this was built in the 1800s. What is that? I mean, this is probably like, it's still the same building but they just use like computers now and stuff. So it's fine. So I'm gonna go in here now. I'm actually an employee and I'm here to sabotage from the inside. This is kind of a creepy hallway. I don't know why. I'm just I'm just anticipating some bad stuff happen. Okay, so this is the little reception's office. Nothing like of note, but you know, it is there. We've got this lovely like boss's office. Okay, so th uh, this seems like a very like private place. So um, I'm gonna go in now. Just don't mind me. Okay, so this is backstage. I don't wanna actually be backstage right now. You know, I wanna do this in a timely manner. And then we have a bathroom, which is like, okay, it's a base game bathroom, whatever. We're gonna go over here now. We've got another base game bathroom. This one might be a bit bigger. Yeah. This is so classy. Oh my God. Like this is gonna be a really tough place to hide the skid marks. That's all I'm gonna say. So we're gonna leave now and we're gonna go around here. So we've got like this. Oh, it's like a little cafe. That's kind of cute actually. I really like this. It's really well detailed. I love the, again, the sort of classic decor going on. Very classy, very classic. Looks very expensive and rich people will be willing to pay for it. Up here, I think this leads outside. This is back door. That's fine. In here, okay, so do we have like different stages? How does this work? Is this the stage? I mean, it's very beautiful. So there are three doors leading in here. So this is the stage on this side at least. Again, I'll check out the backstage in a bit. I just wanna see like what is open to the public and then we'll make our way to stuff we're not really supposed to see. So if I go upstairs, I imagine that's just gonna take me to the theater. Again, we've got a lovely little waiting area with a divider. This is one of the goths, this has to be. This will lead to the balcony outside, which is, you know, a very well done balcony, but um, um, a bad view, probably because I put it in the wrong town. Okay, so there's nothing on this side. You go over here and this will just lead to the top things, which is fine. This is all fine. So uh, I'm gonna jump down now and we're gonna see what's going on backstage. So this is the view that you'd get. Now, for those of you who are socially anxious and hate giving presentations, continue to shit yourselves now. Okay, are you done? Very good. We're gonna continue with the tour now. So we're gonna go over here. Now, this part of backstage, this is really clever. Oh, mailbox. Oh my God, he's ready to go on stage. I'm so proud of you, buddy. You got this. You can do this. Just imagine everybody naked. Okay, maybe stop imagining that everybody's naked. We've got this door, which just leads outside. So there, there's a really easy way to sneak into this production, and I don't really like that. We go over on this side. I'm pretty sure this is the boss's office. No, okay, so this is where she gets ready. Okay, this was crispy pancakes, which is kind of funny because like it sounds like crispy pancakes. This is actually really cute. I didn't even know this was base game, so uh, that's cool. I'm just like learning new things now, and. 
then this leads to the boss's office, which we already know. Now there was an upstairs, which I'm actually excited to go up because I don't really know what's in an upstairs of a stage. Probably just like where the lights are, right? Or um, absolutely nothing except some glitches, uh, which is fine. You know, that's not the fault of the build. It's just the fault of the people who made the game. Then we go in here. Okay, so this is another sort of dressing room area. Very cool, very nice. And we've got a bathroom. Okay, so this is actually like a really just impressive, wholesome build that we've got going on here, which is what I thought. But I came back to this room and I was just wondering if you guys notice anything weird, anything strange at all. Yeah, uh, if you just like look behind this mirror, it's actually not a mirror. Yeah, it's actually a secret little passageway that leads into a basement because of course it fucking would. So if you enter the basement of this establishment, you will find um whatever the fuck this is. I don't know. There's swampy water down here. There's stairs leading down. I assume that this is like where her vanity like kicks in. I think that's her. Yeah, we're making our way down this lovely ominous hall and I just, you know what I think? I think that she's a vampire. Like it has to, like, wait, like this is not that bad. It really isn't. Honestly, this is a vibe. Like I would live here. Like this would be my bedroom. So I understand maybe she's just like a goth before there were goths. But um, yeah, I don't know why it had to have such a grand entrance. I don't know why it had to be so ominous. And you know what? She be hoarding some gold like she's a dragon. So dragging these nuts on your face. I mean, it was a good build though. The last space game build that we're gonna be looking at is the 50s Diner and Camper by Cled Henry. This is Peggy's 50s Diner, a place that takes you back to the 50s, owned by Peggy, a cute lady who lives in the pink camper next door and has a slight obsession with gnomes and flamingos. It's such a lovely place. Now, I don't know if it's a lovely place. I've been told that it is a lovely place and I don't know if I'm inclined to believe it after everything I've been through today. I know I am projecting, but at this point, it's just more of a you problem than it is a me problem. Here we are at Peggy's Diner. This is like the cutest thing I've ever seen, especially the fact that it's all base game. It just it just looks like a stranger film. And I kind of like that because if you don't own that pack, but you like the vibe, you could just download this and it kind of gives you the same thing. Like I put this in Oasis Springs and it would fit really perfectly. I want to know what these are. I think these are soda cans stacked on top of each other to look like a rainbow. I don't even know what that is. I think that's a giant crayon. I'm not sure, but the use of debug items is so creative and I just want to say obviously I'm gonna go in the camper first and then the restaurant but I just want to say like I feel like when you're limited you have a lot more room for creativity is that a chapstick so yeah I think this is really good we've got that lovely little mailbox there and we're gonna head in now and I'm super excited because oh my okay yeah she's obsessed with gnomes and flamingos we knew that so this isn't a jump scare this is so cute it's very tiny so I feel like they're mixing strangerville and tiny living without any packs which is actually really cool we've got this bathroom here a bit cramped and tight but again this is tiny living it's fine the bedroom oh my god okay so this is definitely a living space if i ever saw one very tight but kind of cozy like if i was to vibe in here i may redecorate a little bit but it's actually kind of nice but we're gonna get out of here now because i stopped caring okay so i don't know why it's a bathroom door that's kind of funny i don't maybe they just like reused what they had we're gonna go in the front now again i'm just super excited like oh uh, finally a wholesome fucking build oh my god this is such a vibe. This is kind of like Red Robin. If you've ever been, it's like the same kind of vibe. This is so cool. Like I would actually eat here. It's very 50s. It's very all over the place, very tacky, very everywhere. I love the counters, the constant like ketchup and mustard, like iconography is so good. I love how they did the counters. This must have taken like a little bit of finessing to get right. And all the bar stools at the bar, you've got the places to eat. Like you can just hear the music. Oh my God, it's so good. And by the way, I don't know if you guys knew this, but this is like one of my favorite lamps in the game. I don't like I, this is not my style at all, but I just love it. It's so stupid and tacky. I'm gonna go into the bathrooms now. Just you know, have a peek because usually these places don't have really clean bathrooms, and um, no, they're fine. Okay, yeah, it's acceptable. A bit cramped again, but like whatever. Obviously, gendered bathrooms are a very 50s thing, so you know what? We're staying vintage, I guess, but yeah, they're just bathrooms. Cool, and then we've got the kitchen, which I'm very excited to go in, and oh my god 
it is a fucking mess. Okay, but you know what? It's a small 50s diner, probably run by the woman and her daughter or whatever. And it's just, you know, it's just a tight little place and it's actually pretty tight. And the thing is, if you go towards the back, you've got this lovely like pool area that I totally missed, which is like kind of nice. I guess this is just for like the person living in the camper. And this is her own personal space, unless it's part of the restaurant, which honestly would be really, really cool. Again, I know that this is base game, but if you had dine out, you could probably tweak things a little bit and make it work. But this is so cute. I love this. This is just so nice. A wholesome build to end the day so I can call my therapist and maybe be a little bit less panicked. Unfortunately, those are all the base game builds that we can look at today, but please go ahead and check out this hashtag and take a look and download any of these builds because you don't need any packs for these. And some of these are really, really, really good. Before this video ends, I just want to thank all of my amazing sims over at Patreon for funding this video and for funding me. Oh, wow. Look at all these crazy names in here. Oh my God. These guys are so cool. Like these guys are so awesome. Like this sounds so sarcastic, but I genuinely mean it, but you're not going to believe me, but oh my God, these guys have like really cool names compared to yours. I mean, your name would be cooler if it was up here, but who am I to say? I don't, I, I'm really biased, like really biased. <laughs>